80s and since many of you asked for kind of like a tutorial I'm not gonna go too much into that I don't think I'm gonna show how I did the the faded edges on the paints and uh, some other stuff but I just wanted to show you guys how to do the, the cross hatching over here since over here like where there is a shadow there is more lines than where there is like a lot of light like if you go over here to the light side you can see these are very faded lines but if you go into a darker side these are very uh, compact and, and very dark lines so this is an EV effect only you cannot do this in cycles, but I think Evie does it uh, well enough so that it looks like painterly and almost like if someone actually did the cross hatching. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into it. So I have the same scene over here uh, with uh, without any materials. What I just did is create this little scene over here with some lights these lights are pretty important they have to be lights because uh, the emission materials don't really work on EV unless you do some weird stuff that I don't even know how to and a sun lamp so that we have uh, these lights over here uh, really strong lights and faded lights all over and also in the world uh, settings, if we go over to this, the rendering, I just have a white world. And let's go over here, a uh, pretty dark world uh, and with a, a color, whatever you want. I decided to do a night scene because I really like the way these light, uh, lights look uh, with the cross hatching. Okay, so first of all, let's grab one part of our scene. It could be, I don't know, I uh, usually choose one with a lot of like dark areas and light areas. So I know how the cross hatching will look like uh, from those uh, uh, like uh, light levels. <clears throat> so yeah, if I go into materials, create a new material. Uh, Hatching. call it hatching for now so what Eevee has is a mode where you can actually kind of project the amount of light in your scene into a kind of texture for that we can grab the BSDF and then uh, convert it into an RGB so into uh, B shader to RGB over here. What this creates is you will not see a, a change or a difference in your materials here. But if we actually grab a ramp, that this is why this doesn't work on cycles because this node is not on cycles. Uh, I think it's an EV thing. So if we grab a color ramp we can change the amount of light or well the contrast in your light uh, so yeah I, I also what I did is change the shadows and made it 64 and 2048 for the uh, for the shadows so that it's the highest resolution so that you don't get like the weird distortions over here you can also shade smooth that usually helps because the shadows in EV are not really great as you can see over here with a lot of triangles uh, so yeah uh, we have this with a color ramp and we're gonna use this color ramp of, uh, as our mask uh, so what you want with this color lamp uh, ramp is to have like a really dark side and a really bright side on your subject like you want as much range as possible so that it looks cool 
So more or less something like this could work. Now if we grab this texture and let's create our cross hatching effect. So, so as you can see I already applied all, all the materials, uh, the material to everything, but let's just focus on this guy over here. Uh, so or the cross hatching. Uh, I'm just gonna explain it real quick. So I have two mapping nodes, which are not really important. These these only change the the direction in which the lines are facing, the rotation of the lines. Uh, but let's just get into the actual lines. So I took a window, uh, the window coordinate system which is over here, window, and I plugged it in into a mapping node just so that I have a little bit more control. I plugged this into a noise texture so that I can distort the x direction. So what I did is separate the x, y, z, then with a mix RGB, uh, yeah, with a mix RGB set to linear light, I just plugged the noise texture into with the window coordinate system into the linear light and then I well I, I have a value over here which I divided by a lot because this factor has to be really really small because if it, if it gets too big the the lines get too distorted even now that is 0 0.006 you can see that the lines are really really distorted so what I did is just divide these into a really big number so that I can get a little bit more control over the the actual uh, the yeah the distortion here. So yeah, what uh, what else that I do? I just combine those three vectors. As you can see, these vectors. This is the my vector image out of the window. Then I. Uh, I plug this into a multiply. This just makes it really, really high, like in value. I multiply only the x direction because it's the only direction that I want to 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 divide into segments. Then I divide this, and yeah, if you divide and then plug this into a modulo, you'll get these kind of strikes. Um, and this you can go into floor. This will make it so that uh, the black uh, in between gets ac uh, uh, is actually black. And then go into length. This will just give you the value of the vector without and transforming it into a black and white image. Now that we have that, we can get out of this. Uh, uh, out of a group and I just duplicated this group with a different coordinate system so that I have one cross hatching that is going one way and another one that is going the other way. So here's one, here's the other. Then I have one node which multiplies these two vector, uh, these these two nodes uh, and I'll make it so that I have one cross hatch which is a full cross hatching. Um, if you get this weird problem over here, you just have to shift your uh, x direction somewhere. Like uh, as you can see, we can see the lines here, and maybe just shift the x direction the other way. There you go. Now we have uh, normal. Uh, uh, yeah, an even distribution of the lines here. Uh, let's. So we have this image, which is the cross hatching one. Then we have these lines. And as you can see, one looks a lot darker than the other one. This is just uh, how uh, like cross hatching really works. So if we grab our mask node over here and we just flip it because it will, it will be by default like this. We just have to flip the node here, then 
use this as the factor and then for one of these you just get lines and for the other one you just get the crosshatch and if you see it uh, where the dark areas are you have this crosshatch and with the light areas you have these lines you can also uh, use these for like if you want to like mix these lines over here like these are our lines but we don't want we don't really want lines where the light areas are so let's just add uh, another mix over here and put this as a white and then let's just to have a little bit more control I'm just going to duplicate this and put it over here into the factory what this is going to make is well if we actually change this or either we can change the color ramp or we can just change the the colors here and the yeah, other you go so with this node we can control where the lines are so i i usually keep it really contrasty so that most of the areas with light don't get this weird crash uh this cross-hatching uh, something like that and with this you, we can just multiply this because now we have a black and white image we multiply this by uh, for, uh, with the color uh, that we want as a base and we just will put this into a principal PSDF and wait a little bit as you can see, we already have this cross-hatching effect everywhere. You can apply different materials to different objects so that it doesn't look uh, like the lines are continuing with, and just change like the, the scale of things. Or you can just shift A, add, uh, 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 uh. Is it grease pencil? Yeah, stroke. Move the stroke out of the way. Put a modifier, which is a line art. Where's my line art? There you go. Get colors, get black, and get a collection. I'm just gonna put all of these into one collection. So I'm just gonna create one collection. Select everything that I have in my scene you can have different collections with different line styles and just get this into the collection as you can see we have this if we go into render we can see well i have some compositing here as you can see so that it looks a little bit more oh yeah i just get the shadow pass it through a luminance key which transform how the shadow looks like and then just multiply these by the image and you'll get this pretty much so yeah that's pretty much it there's a lot of stuff extra like you uh, a way to get different materials on different objects using the same using the same node tree if you get into uh, object info and then you go into random you have different uh, different materials for uh, well different colors for different parts of the scene you can plug this into the color the last color over here and if you view it you can see that we have all of these materials here uh, but yeah that's pretty much how how I did the cross hatching effect and yeah I've 
a wonderful day. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.